Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning to all my students. Okay, so we are now in lecture 304, the second last final part of our lecture for this topic. Uh, with the subtopic of 10.3 normal distribution. Okay, so for normal, um, last time we discussed about binomial and Poisson, for which both are the situation for normal, we call discrete, uh, we call discrete uh, random variables then. So for normal is for continuous. Okay. So then, identify the normal, uh, determine the mean and variance, and all these in the soft related problem. Okay. So last time for binomial and Poisson is a discrete situation, and for normal is uh, continuous. Okay. So normal distribution, this is what we call uh, normal dis probability distribution is a bell shaped curve. Okay. So if we imagine this, it's just like we call a bell old bell that we call uh, shape that sometimes if you can see in the we call in some movies and the recalling that we call the bell uh, in the church or uh, we call uh, an old uh, stuff that okay and this is a shape the total area under the curve is 1.0 and the curve is symmetric about the mean okay so there's a mean here mean the middle here and it's symmetrical which is meant which means that this uh, we call the shape on the left equal to the shape on the right side and has a random variable which is similar we call continuous and this is the we call the parameter uh, x normally distributed with the mean parameter of mean and variance so then standard normal the, the normal distribution with a mean equal to zero and standard deviation is called the standard normal deviation, which I think the standard deviation is to be sigma only. Okay, never mind. To change x in normal distribution into z of in standard normal distribution, use the transformation formula. So from x normally distributed with the parameter of mean and variance, we turn into the standard z on standard normal dis distribution. Standard, uh, we call as you see, or we call the definition of every single uh, label that we have here, the mean of x in population and standard deviation. Okay. Okay, now, from x normal distributed for this one here, we turn into the z standard normal this, uh, normal distribution. And you can see that. Okay, never mind. How to use the standard normal tables? Use the symmetrical properties of graph to find the probability from the tables then. Okay. So, each of this, we call, area on left side are equal to the area on the other side. As, you, uh, as I mentioned just now, the total area between the curve and x-axis are equal to 1. And it is, we call, symmetrical with a mean equal to 0. So, we divide the area on left side is half, which is 0 0.5. And on the other side, it's also 0 0.5. Okay, so symmetrical on left side for z less than negative a. So we just imagine that if we fold this, okay, let's say if we, meet, if we bring this, or we call this area with the, we call the red dot on the other side here equal to the area of this okay. 
Okay, read the probability, read the probability from the table with z equal to a. The standard normal table shows the probability for upper end area, which is z greater than or equal to a small letter of z. Okay, so which I think that for at this moment we look at the definition first. When it comes to the example, it makes our very this make it clear that. Okay. Uh, for this one here, this is a value of a that we refer. We call we refer in in we call a gate in this statistical book. Okay, to find the value of each of them. Okay, so if this is the one z is greater than negative a, so this is a, we call the middle of the the curve. And is greater than this one here. Okay, so this is not the area that we wanted. So it is the whole area. Okay, the whole area on the left plus on the right side is equal to one. But then this probability of x the z greater than negative a. So the whole area minus the area uh, we call on the left side. So the area on left side, we consider as this one here. So the whole area, which is equal to 1, minus the area, which is less than negative A, the, we call the one that, uh, we call the shape with the red, the blue ink, okay, equal to the area of this part here now. So, 1 minus probability of z greater than a. So, just imagine that if I bring this red dots area to the left side, and yet, this area is, also, is equal to this area. They are equal. Okay? So, we use this, uh, we call this calculation that. So this area equal to this area. Okay. Then next, we want it. We call the area between negative b and negative a. So if we bring this to the other side, there you go. Okay. It is probability of z greater than a. Okay, if I just imagine this to imagine this one here. Okay. So then um, for the first property of Z greater than A, e, just imagine that this A e here. A e, And minus, minus probability of z greater than b. Just imagine that there's a b here. So the probability of z greater than a, the whole area from a to the right side, minus probability of z greater than b on the other side here. So what's left? Is area between a and B. Okay. So then equal to this one here. So we continue. Okay, so now Probability of recall z between negative a. Negative a means it gonna be okay. Negative a somewhere around here on left side. 
to 0. Okay, we'll see. That's all given. Okay. For negative a to 0 equal to, okay, bring this to the other side. There you go. Okay. So, in this property of z greater than 0, property of z greater than 0 means that the whole area on right side, okay, 0 0.5 minus property of z greater than a, this part here. So, this one, this one left hand. It is 0 0.5 minus property of z greater than a. Okay, so then, now is from negative a to a. So just imagine that this is a middle, okay, mean equal to 0. So there is a negative a here and also a. So guys and girls, just imagine that if half of this is between negative a to 0 and another half here which is from 0 to a, actually that these two, these two area from left and side of this middle, we call the middle line, is equal, right? So that's why we come up with, that's why we come up with 1, the whole area equal to 1. Minus double two times of property of z greater than a. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me explain this. Let's say I took the we call the area on the left side and another half on the other side. Okay. So the first one here. Okay, I take the half of this A Okay Plus with This part here Also A this is negative A and A. Okay, the whole area of this is 0.5. Okay, and whole area of this half is also 0.5. This area is equal to this area. They are equal. Okay, so the whole area, the whole area which is equal to 1. So if I come up with this one here um, let's say okay uh, let's say on the first part of this I make this one as a 0 0.5 minus property of Z greater than E okay and on this side is also another of 0 0.5 minus even though it's negative a just imagine that this area okay this area is equal to this area so i just come up with another property of z greater than a okay 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equal to 1 and then negative property of z greater than a plus minus another of this is minus 2 property of z greater than e. There you go. Then you get this one here. Okay. Example 1. If z is binomially distributed with 0 0.1, the 0 with the mean and the variance, find the property of following of all this. Okay. Okay. So the first one then. Property of z greater than or equal to 2.5 okay whether greater than or greater than equal okay never mind this is still what we call as a equal because it's for continuous okay so how are we going to find answers using this book okay now the first one here uh 
according okay to all my students please uh, turn to page 21 page 21 okay now this is 2.5 so we refer to the value of z value of z and scroll down until you find it it is 2.5 okay 2.5 and then 2.5 according to how you read this book is at 2.5 plus with zero 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 because two point two point five plus zero 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 is two point five okay so two point five here and then refer to zero 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 then you get two point five uh because intercept with a zero 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 here it gives you zero point zero zero two six okay so this is 0.00621 Okay Then the next one For B Probability of Z Greater than 0 0.6 Okay For this one here now It is Um Okay, just uh, let's say this is the bell shape graph. Okay, so look at the question here. Uh, make a mistake that is a z greater than negative 0 0.6. So just imagine that it's a negative 0 0.6 here. And it is greater than. Okay, so the whole area, the whole area from negative to positive infinity, the whole area is equal to 1 minus, okay, the whole area minus the area on the left side of this, on the left side of this, okay, the area we got the line of the blue line here, okay, so probability of z less than equal to negative 0 0.6 okay now look at this one here what if i turn we call the area on left side to the left right and this one to the left side okay so negative 0 0.6 if i bring up here 0 0.6 and this area we turn it here are they equal yes they are okay so then we try to find the area on the right side which is equal to this side because from this statistical book they only give you the we call the value the property which is greater than or equal only so then it is 1 minus probability of z greater than or equal to negative 0 0.6. Okay, so then, um, uh, how did this? Okay, from here to here, 1 minus probability of negative, uh, uh, wait, wait, this one should be positive. Okay, according to the value of 0 0.6 here. Okay, 0 0.6 Okay, from this statistical book, look at the z to 0 0.6. Okay, z to 0 0.6 plus with 0, 0, 0. And you get negative 0 0.2743. Okay, again, Z equal to 0 0.6 plus with 0, 0, 0, which is intercept with 0 0.6, then it is 0, negative 0 0.2743. Okay, negative 0 
0.2743 and it is equal to 0 0.7257. Let's go move to the question C. Question C, the probability of negative 2.23 Z less than negative 1.23. Okay. This one, we can refer to this graph. Okay, this is the middle line. Now, negative 2.23. Okay, and then negative 1.23. So, this is the area. Okay. On left side, and now we turn it into probability of Z, which is lies in between one point two three and two point two three. Okay, so just imagine that this area we bring to the other side of this on the left side. And the first one then, this, okay, 1.23, when we on this side, it between this is 1.23, and this one here for 2.23. Okay. So then, this is probability of Z okay. greater than 1.23 okay. greater than 1.23 minus property of Z greater than 2.23 okay so 1.23 okay from this table book, 1.2 from Z. So find out where is 1.2 here. 1.2 plus 0 0.03. Okay, how we read this? Find in the Z of 1.2. And then look at that. We go on uh, the numbers, the value on the, on the top here. Okay, so 1.2 plus 0 0.03, so 0 0.03, okay. so 1.2 plus with 0 0.03, it is 0 0.10, is it A, or oh, 1.1093. 1.1093 minus 2.23 which means that is 2.2 plus 0 0.03 okay. so 2 plus 2.2 okay 2.2 and then 0 0.01 0 0.00 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 0 0.00 0 0.0129 okay so it is 0 0.0129 it is equal to 0 0.0954 okay let me test the answers here okay one point one zero nine three minus zero point zero one two three. There you go. Nope. 
uh, class, I'm sorry. Uh, probability cannot be greater than 1. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Miss writing that. Okay. 0 0.1, 0, 0.93 minus 0 0.0123. Not even uh, one to nine. Then make a mistake. Then three zero point zero zero point one zero nine three minus zero point zero one two nine zero point zero oh no, zero point one zero nine three minus zero point zero Okay. 0 0.095464 something like that. Okay. Is it 95464? Might be 6. Okay, you can apply yourself that. Okay. And then for D, for the uh, probability of modulus of Z greater than 1.2, which means that it is probability of Z for this one here. Um, you still remember this? You still remember this? If I come up with term of x, modulus of x greater than a, where we define it is a two ways here, which is x greater than uh, for x greater than a, okay, and also or x less than negative a okay so that's the way we write it here now which is z greater than 1.2 okay and plus with probability of z less than negative 1.2 okay. and now Okay, so um, sorry, uh, I'm sorry because the surface of this board okay make me call me give me a problem to sketch it nicely here okay so then the first one here z greater than 1.2 okay. 1.2 and it is here Plus probability of z less than negative one point two. Okay, so class actually that this area is equal to this area, meaning we count this twice. Okay, so what can we do here now is the whole area between the curve and x axis are equal to 1. Okay. Okay, class uh, do if I use this minus 2 probability of z greater than 1.2 meaning I'm looking at an area I'm finding an area and we call area of this but this is not the area that we're looking for. So it means that I make a mistake here now. So the correct answer of so the correct way of solving this is we just count this and this by double the property of z greater than or equal to 1.2. This area is equal to this area. So why don't we just find out the area of this part? and multiply with 2 multiply by 2 
So then it is 2. Okay. Z, property of Z greater than 1.2 again. Okay, 1.2. Z from 1.2, 0. Okay. 1.2 for this part here, according to this, is 1.2 plus 0 0.00 equal to 1.2. So, 1.2, okay, 1.2 plus with 0, 0, 0, it gives you 0 0.1151. 0 0.1151. So, 0 0.1151 multiplied with 2 equal to 0 0.2302. Example 2. Okay, so for this one here now. Okay, so class, the way we solve this is differently from the previous. Okay, let's say the first one then. For A, probability of Z greater than A equal to 0 0.6217. Okay, class. Okay, we refer to the previous notes. Uh, as I mentioned just now, where half of this area is 0 0.5. Half of this is 0 0.5. And half of this is also 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, which is equal to 1. Okay. So the probability of this is 0 0.6, which is 0 0.6 is greater than 0 0.5 which means that this a we call this property is uh, we call uh, across the border means that is a 0 0.5 plus with part of the property on the left side okay so Half of this, so class, it is A, where A for this answers here is on left side, where A is less than zero, okay, meaning zero point five plus with the probability here, then. 0 0.5 plus here equal to 0 0.6217. But just imagine that this is 0 0.5. And this part here is 0 0.1217. 0 0.1217 plus 0 0.5 is 0 0.6217. Okay. The point is now here is, what is the value of A? Okay. So, uh, the whole area... The whole area between the curve and x axis equal to 1. So 1 minus this area. 1 minus probability of z less than e equal to 0 0.6217. Okay. And then uh, negative property of z less than e equal to. 0 0.6217 1 bring up here okay um, minus 1 equal to okay 0 0.6217 minus 1 equal to negative 0 0.3783 multiply with negative left and right okay so now we are going to find out okay probability of z greater than a what if this area we transfer transfer into on on right side 
on left side here we bring to the other side on right side okay so this one here now uh, we imagine that this A we bring up to the other side and we find that the area here okay equal to probability of Z greater than or equal to E okay so even though this A is negative but because we bring it to the side so we need to label this one A as a negative even though this value is positive, but because we label this positive on the left side, A is negative. So on this side here, it becomes negative A. Okay, negative A. So then, property of Z greater than or equal to A, 0 0.0378. So let's find out. Okay, meaning the way we solve this answer is different from the previous because we are not referring to the value of Z and this value we are going to find the value of 0 0.3783 uh, inside the table inside here okay, we're going to find the value inside here so 0 0.3783 0 0.3 0 0.3783 class i found it here okay 0 0.3783 where it is intersect, we call middle between 0 0.3 and 0 0.01 0 0.783 0 0.3783 okay on the left side is 0 0.3 on the top is 0 0.01 meaning it is 0 0.0.31 okay the value of a Negative A is 0 0.31. Okay. So meaning the value of A originally here is A equal to uh, negative 0 0.31. That's it. A is negative 0 0.31. Okay. And next. Probability of uh, modulus of Z less than E equal to 0 0.8472. Okay. So from here, it is probability of Z in between E, negative A, and E is 0 0.8472. Okay. So class... If this is the normal curve, so it is from negative A to A. From negative A to A. So if I imagine that we concentrate on this part only. We concentrate on this part only. Why? Because this area is equal to this area. Half and half. We should just we just add these two. Or double. Or we multiply. Okay, find the area on this side. And multiply with two. And we get the whole area of this. Okay. So what can we do now? Uh, for this one here. Find this area and multiply it with 2. So, uh, 1 minus 2 times probability of Z greater than or equal to equal to 0 0.8472. So then, bring this one to the left side. Minus 1 and negative 2 probability of Z greater than or equal to A equal to Again, your calculator 0 0.8472 minus 1. It is 0 0.8472.
Okay, this is negative 0 0.1528. Okay, multiply negative left and right. Then property of Z greater than A equal to 0 0.1528 divided by 2. Okay, it is 0 0.0764. Okay, so from the table, zero, we like, need to find out 0 0.0764. 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 0 0.0764, I found it here. Okay. Okay. 0 0.0764, where it is at between 1.4, and 0 0.03 meaning it is a equal to 1.43 okay again 0 0.0764 okay is that between 1.4 plus 0 0.03 Okay, now, example 3, the random variable x has no more distribution with mean 10 and standard deviation of 2. So, find this one here. Okay. So, x has a binomial, uh, normally distributed, not binomial, it's a normal then, sorry. Okay, with a mean of 10 and variance. Variance is 4. Okay, variance equal to 4. And given here, standard deviation equal to 2. Okay, so we transform this into a z, a standard deviation of this, which is equal to x minus x minus. Divide by standard deviation. Okay. Okay, so for the first one here, A equal to property of X greater than uh, 13, which is equal to property of Z to standard uh, normal distribution here, which is 13 minus mean divide by standard deviation which is 2 okay so finally as we call calculate for this value here okay 13 minus 10 divide by 2 okay. 13 minus 10 divide by 2 equal to 1.5 So then, it is 1.5 here, probability of Z greater than 1.5, and 1.5 strictly from the, this statistical book, okay, for 1.5 means that we find out 1.5 plus 0 0.00. 1.5 plus 0, 0, 0. Okay, 1.5 with 0, 0, 0 is 0 0.0668. Okay, um, this is 0 0.0668. Okay, and then For question B, probability of X from 9 until 13. So we transform into this we call the standard normal distribution of Z from 9. 9 minus 10 divided by 2 and also 13 minus 10 divided by 2. Okay. So I'm using a calculator here. This is set that lies in between 
negative 0 0.5 and here is 1.5 okay so for this case and for this case So first one here is um, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, and 1.5. Okay, class. The whole area is equal to 1 minus just imagine that if uh, between these two, I separate into two parts, the first one okay, the first one is for uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay uh, and then another one here is 1.5 okay so addition of these two is just like we multiply 1 minus probability of z greater than 0 0.5 okay and minus probability of z greater than 1.5 so then for this one z greater than 0 0.5 Find it from here, 0 0.5 and 0, which is 0 0.03, 0 0.3085. 0 0 okay, it is 0 0.3085 minus the next one here, uh, 1.5, 1.5, okay, 1 1.5. And 0 is 0 0.0668. Okay. Equal 0 0.0668. And the total of this equal to 0 0.6247. Okay. So, plus for the next example, which I think that I let all, the, all of you to try. Okay, so the previous example is where, okay, is how we find the solution using this statistical book. Okay, and here is where we apply all the accident we call example that we did just now into the situation of this, the height of matriculation student can be B, normally situated with 10, 770, and standard deviation of 5. So, what is the probability that a student selected at random has a height between 174 and 178? So class, I give you a clue for this, where this is x normally distributed with parameter, parameter of mean is 170 and standard deviation equal to 5. So variance is 5 square or 25. So for this one here, which is uh, z, 174, 178, which is 174 minus 170 divided by standard deviation equal to 5. And this is 178 minus 170 divided by standard deviation equal to 5. Okay, so for this one here, it gives you 0 0.8 and 1.6. So find the answers of this, okay, value of this and value of this. Okay, both both of these are positive, meaning Okay, this is a mean which is zero. So the zero point eight might be somewhere around here, and one point six somewhere around here. So this is the area. Okay, so I do hope you can offer you to eat my all of you can apply all the method that I show you just now. Example 1, example 2, and example 3. 
okay, to solve this application of question here. Okay, so then um, out of group of 150 of these two motivation students here, how many would be expected to have a height less than 164? Okay. Okay, so I'll just give you the rough circle calculation of solution of this. So again, okay, it is probability of and it's less than one hundred and one hundred and sixty-four. One hundred and sixty-four, which is equal to probability of Z. Okay, one hundred and sixty-four minus one hundred and seventy divided by five. Okay, so it is probability of Z less than negative one point two. Okay. And for this one here, it gives you 0 0.1151. Okay, back to the question here. Out of 150 matriculation students, how many would be expected to have a height less than 164? So to answer this, it is 150 multiplied with 10 0.1151. Then it is equal to 17.265 or we round up into 17. Okay, 17 students that height less than 164. So uh, this is the flow of the story. So you count up by yourself here. Uh, you might write down uh, out of 150 matriculation students. Okay. And uh, expected to have height less than 164 equal to 150 multiplied with the value of this and you get 70. Okay. So this is exercise for you to try and try yourself try it first. If you if you haven't tried then you don't know, you, you don't know whether you can solve it or not. Okay. So that's all for today. Uh, I do hope that this video helps you. Okay, that's all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a nice day.